and he's building this monstrosity uh, to resemble what he thinks Noah's Ark must have looked like. Where, where he got the blueprints from, I've no idea. Um, and you can be quite certain it took a long time to draw this thing up. Noah was given one year, approximately, by God to build this thing. He, his three sons and their wives. Now the wives were probably busy cooking and doing other things, but uh, so the chances are there were just four men, uh, none of whom were carpenters, none of, none of whom knew anything about shipbuilding. They had one year in which to build this massive ark, uh, you know, big enough to house hippopotamus and dinosaurs and elephants and all sorts. Um, and, and, <laughs> and that's not even mentioning the time it took to gather all these animals together, you know, sort of racing off to that sound you can hear that's my doggy scratching I wonder if he was on board the ark his grandfather probably was um, you know it must have taken quite a while to zoom up to the arctic and gather all the polar bears and then <coughs> zoom down to Australia gather a few kangaroos and wombats and wallabies and you know lesser spotted this and that anyway cut a long story short Ken Ham is building this thing. It's nearly completed, um, and it's uh, it's it, you know it's quite something to look at. But in order to build it, he um, he had hundreds of volunteers helping him. And here's the thing: they started off with finished timber. Now, I'm asking you, how long do you think it took four men to cut down one big cedar tree? I'm assuming it was probably cedar because they were prolific in that area cut down that one tree and then neatly slice it into planks and bearing in mind all they had were the crudest possible instruments according to the Bible the ancient Hebrews didn't even have iron uh, so that's a long story I'll tell you about that another time about how God's army was defeated by the hills people because the hill people had chariots of iron while the Hebrews only had chariots of wood uh, that's a long story. So chances are, no and his family didn't even have iron tools. But let's give them the benefit of the doubt. Let's say they had a few chisels and hammers and, uh, you know, axes of some kind. Just imagine how long it would have taken to not only cut a massive tree down, but then neatly slice it into neat, perfectly fitting planks. It would have taken the best part of a year to just deal with one tree but anyway Ken Ham bought you know hundreds thousands probably of finished planks finished timber um, and then he had access to all the latest power tools and hundreds of volunteers operating these power tools and it's taken him almost a year uh, to get this far with all with all with all those advantages so we'll, we'll take a look at this um, this uh, National Geographic uh, program and then you make up your own mind whether or not Ken Ham has proven that an ark could possibly have existed or whether he's proved the exact opposite. I think this dingling has proved, not that any proof was needed, that it couldn't possibly have been achieved with four, with just four men with primitive tools and no finished, finished wood. You make up your own minds. I'll catch up with you in a minute.